Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Please click on the bell icon. You will get all the notification of my new videos and let's get started. Today, I'm going to share with you very tasty, delicious and easy to make Mitti Matti or we can call it Sweet Matti. Simply we can say it sweet crackers these are so tasty and so delicious when you're going to start eating you will like it the ingredients we're going to need all-purpose flour which is we call maida i'm using desi ghee this is clarified butter if you don't have a desi ghee you can use any vegetable oil water as needed i'm using powdered sugar you can use any sugar and the water the first step will be making up a dough get a mixing bowl add all-purpose flour this is the baking powder and this will make the matti more crispy. After adding the baking powder, mix it. Once it's nicely combined, I'll add clarified butter which is desi ghee. Mix it well. In this process, you need to use both hands. So make sure that your hands are very clean. So now we're going to rub it like this. And this process we call it moan. So we are preparing the moan. As you can see, this is the way the flour is going to look. So we're going to make sure that we mix it well. So it's going to take some time. So keep mixing like this. Once the desi ghee, the clarified butter is nicely combined with the flour, this is how the flour is going to look. And now we're going to add water. Make sure that don't add too much water, add as needed. So now we're going to make a dough. The same process like we make a dough for chapati or fulka, we're going to need more water. So this is how the dough is going to look. This is all done. We're going to leave it for 10 minutes on the countertop. We're going to prepare a chasni, start gas. So get a kurai or fry pan, add sugar, add water, mix it. Bring the water to boil. Once the water started to boil, now bring the gas to medium and let it cook. The consistency what we're looking in this chasni one thread. While this one is cooking, the oil is heated up and we're going to start making matti. We rested the dough for 10 minutes and this is how the dough looks. I'm going to show you the easier and simple way. Once you do that, then grab this much, like this. Make even size. Give it a round shape and then press it, just like this. This is a good size. I'll show you four of these. Give a round shape and then press it. Once you press it, then with the thumb, you press it like this. So get a lazy Susan and we're going to roll like this. So once it's rolled out, you see this one, get a fork and then make a hole at multi locations like this and then turn it around and do the same thing. When we are rolling on a lazy Susan with the rolling pan, they tend to puff more. So it's a good idea, just poke holes. And I will finish up all of these and then we're going to deep fry these. I'm almost done with these, three more to go. Oil is heated up and we're going to place matiya inside, the sweet matiya. So keep putting in, if you have a bigger fryer, then you can put more. I'm going to put like seven, eight of them. And we're going to fry these until they turn golden brown. Once they turn golden brown, then we're going to pull these out. As you see, once they start cooking, they will start to float. Let me pull the basket out and you can see how they look. Look at this. So now we're going to fry these until they turn really golden brown. So flip them over and they will turn golden brown on the other side as well, just like this. While this one is getting cooked, our chasni is all ready and I'm going to turn off the gas. Let me show you. I let it on simmer and now the chasni is all ready. And this is the one thread consistency, you can tell. This is one thread. So this is what we are looking for. I'm going to turn off the gas and let it cool down. The time is going to cool down. We're going to finish frying the matisse. Back onto the fryer. It's still in the process of getting golden brown. Once I pull the basket, 
got a nice and brownish color. Once the oil is drained, we're going to place it into the plate with the paper towel on it. We're going to prepare the second batch. Start putting in more matisse in there and we'll keep cooking. And I'll do the same process and we're going to make sure that it's golden brown then we'll pull these out. The second batch is ready, put the third batch. I've still one more batch to go. This is our last batch. Other side, the chasni is also cooled down. If we take a look here, so we need this kind of chasni cooled down. And now I'm going to get the mati and we we'll place it in. If it's hot, that is okay. That's no issue. You can put that in too. But chasni is very important. So once you coat it, you just uh, turn around, and and you can see this is a good thing. It's getting nice coated. So we're going to keep mixing it. Once it's nicely mixed like this, and that's where we're going to pull these out. I have a last batch going on, then we're going to mix those also. It's all done, it's nicely coated. They are still kind of warm, so just be careful. Look at how delicious, sticking each other. Good idea, you can break it right now. Once they get cold, they will be harder to break it. So it's a good idea to break it now. Look at that, that nice coating. So that's how it's easy and simple to make these sweet mati. So if you like this video, like always, like, share, and subscribe, Easy Steps Cooking. Look at this. This is what the crispiness, the coating you need. And wow, look at this. Nice and crunchy from inside. And when we're going to eat it, mmm. So good. Very delicious. The best result is let it cool down, then you eat it. It's very tasty and very delicious. Please try it and you're going to like it. And like always, like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.